Hello everyone, welcome to my first SketchUp tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is purely about the uh, ways to navigate uh, in SketchUp and how to sort of configure your SketchUp environment um, so you can become a, um, a efficient modeler. Um, I will assume that you've already installed SketchUp and I'll assume you have it up and running. Um, this doesn't cover the installation of SketchUp or anything like that. Um, and it also doesn't cover modeling techniques or anything like that. It's just, just purely to make uh, the user comfortable in SketchUp um, and to sort of navigate effectively and to configure their environment. So the first thing we need to do is go to Window and then we'll go to Preferences. Now in Preferences, the first thing we'll look at is Template. Now, being in Australia, mine's set up to the simple template with meters. Um, I just, I'm quite happy with this layout, so I use this kind of layout. If you're uh, using the Imperial system, then you might prefer feet and inches. Um, yeah, so that's the first thing. So choose, choose which template you like. The next setup is shortcuts. Now, Typically, when I use uh, SketchUp, the way I use it is I use a lot of shortcut keys, and it allows you to model quite fast and and fluently. Uh, now, it does take a while to get used to the keys and remember all the keys, but it's well worth it. Instead of sort of clicking on something and having to go over to the tools and click it again, so what I would suggest is in the filter section, if we if we type the word draw you can then see the assigned letters for things like arcs, circles, lines now I don't have any everything assigned but just all the sort of general things that I use quite a lot so yeah arc, A for arc, C for circle, L for line, R for rectangle that kind of thing and you basically to create that you just click and add shortcut type the letter you want and press enter now the second part where we need to assign keys is in the tools section. So if we type tools and a slash, now you can see I've got plenty of things installed here because I've got all an array of, of plugins and all sorts of things, but we'll we'll just cover the, the standard tools. Ones to definitely uh, assign a shortcut to an eraser and follow me. Now I don't have one for follow me, but uh, yeah, I've just sort of got used to clicking over there, but there's no reason why I shouldn't have set one up, it's just a uh, force of habit now. So if we keep scrolling down, one we definitely want to put on is Move, and I have M for Move, Offset, Push Pull, uh, Rotating, and Scaling. And also just to note that Select is Space, so that's sort of like, yeah, deselecting something or, <coughs> excuse me, uh, yeah, just just having if you've got something selected, you'll press space, and that will sort of deselect and and get you back to the arrow. So really, they're all the shortcuts that I use. We can sort of click through here. Another option is to display the crosshairs. Sometimes that can be quite effective um, for for lining things up. So uh, we'll just click OK there now. And uh, the next part, well, uh, you can see here there's a cube that I've made earlier. Now just to start off with I'll, I'll hold the left shift key and then I'll push down on the center scroll mouse and see it becomes a hand. When we do that and we move it moves from left to right like, a, like it pans effectively. So that's panning. So that's that's a, definitely a thing you need to learn to do when you're navigating around your model. If I take off the shift key it turns into the orbit tool so we can then orbit around the uh, the object up and down like so another thing to also note is exactly where your cursor is is where the operation is occurring so if we just uh, hold the cursor over here and click down on the orbit tool it will orbit from that spot likewise if we put the cursor over here hold shift press the orbit it'll pan from there so yeah just to keep that in mind that uh, that cursor is exactly where the operation is going to occur 
Uh, the next one is the um, zoom in and out, which is just your scroll mouse. So scrolling back will zoom it out, and scrolling in will zoom it in. And again, that's exactly where your cursor is. So if I put the cursor over here and zoom out, and zoom in, it'll zoom from that spot. If I put it right on this corner, I can zoom right into this corner and then right back out. So a combination of orbiting, zooming, panning, and a combination of both is what you need to start to become familiar with to start moving around in SketchUp. And that concludes the, uh, the first tutorial.